Hello, Internet. I am back from the regional and um, we've got <laughs> a few things to reflect on, I think. So, <laughs> um, you know, first off, I'll say it was a, a really, really, really well run tournament yesterday. Uh, as I'm sure you know, we had the first ever UK regional tournament in Sutton Coldfield, and today we've had the first. Um, Italian regional in Rome, which uh, I didn't go to, but a few people actually did sort of do the crazy journey of doing both. So this has been a, a really important weekend for Europe's championship points. Now, we've got, uh, well, I've got a lot of reflecting to do, and I'm sure a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of other people do as well, because yesterday was a pretty interesting tournament. Uh, a lot of people did pretty poorly that you would, you know, you would have expected to have done well. Um, I... I'm sure you're all wanting to know what my record was. I went 4-4, which is actually the worst I've ever done in Swiss rounds of an official tournament. Oh, of any tournament, I think. So, it, it, it's bad. Like, that's bad for me, 4-4. Like, you know, honestly, no, like, disrespect to anyone who, you know, got 4-4 and was happy with it. You know, I, I, I did want to do better than that. So, I'm disappointed with 4-4. But, um, luckily for me... Um, out of, I think there's like 40 or 50 people with a final record of 4-4, only the top 8 of those 4-4s four um, actually were in the top 64 cut to get championship points. Uh, I was one of the top ones, so I did get championship points. I got 20 championship points, so at least I did get something. So I'm disappointed that I didn't do, do too well, but at least I got something out of it. So... Um, I'm just going to, um, well, let's go through, um, you know, th this This is the prediction article that um, Nigel, Worm's Eye, um, put on Nugget Bridge a few days ago before the tournament. And, uh, you know, he did a good job with this regional uh, preview. Um, it's very hard to predict, uh, you know, what's going to happen. Though. It's so open, this metagame, I think. So let's just have a look at some of his, um, you know, predictions. Obviously, the, there's the, um, the obvious predictions of Kelly who went 6-2, uh, I'm pretty sure. I went 4-4. Four, four. Uh, Billa actually did top cut, so he did uh, really well. He top cut the Gunnar Regional, and he top cut yesterday as well. So, you know, hats off to him. He's, he's, he's got his head around this uh, meta game, it seems. But obviously, we were the first, um, you know, the obvious picks, the first three picks, because we were 1-2-3 in Europe. Uh, Chris Corio did pretty poorly as well. I think he went 4-4. Four, four. Um, Lee Osiris who was my first round opponent, uh, you know, he's a good opponent as well, you know, he top cut Worlds last year, he, I think he went 6-2, so, you know, again, he got some points but didn't top cut, the Miller brothers, I think, had quite a disappointing tournament, Ben, I think, went 5-3, uh, Steve, so Smoke, I think he went 3-5, even, I think, uh, Zog, I think he went 5-3 as well, um, interesting, we've got some more picks down here. These are the more sort of outsider picks. But Yan Sim actually top cut, so he did very well. Uh, I, d I do actually have a, um, you know, he was one of my opponents in the Arnhem Regional, so uh, I'm sure he's using a different team, but you can go and have a look at that game if you want to, you know, see what he's all about. Uh, my good friend Jake, uh, White Afro King, he got ninth. So that's, that's really unfortunate for him. I felt kind of bad for him. Um, P3DS, Phil, actually won the tournament. So, um, you know, at least he, he got a mention here. I've, well, I have actually got a game against um, P3DS on my channel as well. From quite a few months ago, one of the Manchester Street Pass tournaments from the 2014 format. He was using his Perish team from, from that year uh, in that video. So you can go and watch that if you want. Obviously, he had a slightly different Perish team um, in this tournament. But in that video, I was saying that I think Phil is a pretty, like, underappreciated... Uh, player, I think he's very good. So I am, you know, I was happy to see that he top cut, and I was happy to see that he he won the tournament as well. I think he did deserve it, but it uh, it was a very interesting tournament because all of these people that you would have expected to do well um, didn't. Like Billa really is the only one that actually top cut that people would have expected to. Like, no offense to anyone else who top cut, but um, you know, I'm not saying that any of the other people who top cut didn't have the ability because obviously they do, but. It's um, yeah, nice to see actually some other people that you that might surprise people actually top cutting and doing well as well. So you know that's that's the uh, the tournament uh, or the predictions really. Uh, I'll, I'll go through what happened in my rounds in a little bit. This is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a ramble. <laughs> so you know, hope you're um, you know you <laughs> sat tightly and you can bear my voice for 
for a bit longer. So, uh, you know, I, I do definitely want to uh, say that uh, it was very nice seeing all my friends again. Like, I love seeing all my friends um, at these tournaments. You know, there's so many people that, you know, it, it's, it's, <laughs> it is really nice. Because, like, I've been doing this for a, a few years now. And so to see the people over and over again, it's, you know, you are my friends. But the thing that I haven't had before was the amount of people that came up to me and, um, you know, said, oh, are you Baz Anderson? Or, um, you know, <laughs> someone said to me, hello, internet. <laughs> and, uh, you know, someone wanted a picture, you know, so, you know, wanted me to sign things. It's, it's really crazy. Like, this is, this is the first UK, um, you know, decent sized tournament, you know, half, you know, kind of important tournament that um, I've been to since I've been doing this YouTube business. So, I really wasn't expecting so many people to, you know, say hello and and comment on the channel and all that kind of stuff. But you know, it's it's absolutely, it's fantastic. You know, it's it's mind blowing. It's really humbling as well. Uh, it's brought a lot of things, um, you know, home to me, I suppose, because I didn't realise just how um, influential, I suppose, this this channel actually is, because. Um, I well, I didn't, I didn't get either of your names, but um, a father of a, of a boy came up to me after the third round in the break and said that you know his son wanted a picture and he was a fan and he watches the videos and and it, you know it's really improved his playing and and that really like I, I didn't get your names so um you know I'm sorry but if, if you're watching this then you know hello to you <laughs> but it, it it really means a lot to me I didn't realize how many people watched and even like how young some of the people were that watched this vi this this channel you know. The videos on this channel so it really it does mean a lot to me like it that really raised my spirits actually because I was feeling pretty down after um, the third round um, because I you know I was 2-1 at that point but I knew I basically needed to win every other game so you know this this side of it um, even though my tournament run was really 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 poor you know that side of everything really kind of brought my spirits up I um, I <laughs> I really can't emphasize how much I appreciate all of you guys watching this and you know obviously you you you're enjoying it so I'm just glad that I can provide something for for all of you that you do enjoy that you do like so you know really thank you to to all of you that you know said hello or that this channel has there's um you know improved I suppose I mean I know that a lot of my subscribers are um over there in America um you know United States or you know maybe even Canada I think most are from United States um so, you know, hello to everyone over there, but uh, it's only really at Worlds when I get to meet you, um, unless, you know, you come over to the European um, nationals like uh, Mike did, actually, um, a Mega Donut uh, a couple of years ago. So, uh, but, um, you know, whatever, that's that. Um, let's just, um, you know, I'll, I'll talk you through my tournament run, um, actually. So, I, um, if I can remember, <laughs> I do have uh, all of the video saved but I'm sorry I'm not going to upload any of these like I'm I'm I am sorry that my tournament run was so bad and it's not it's not that I've got something against uploading losses it's that I I didn't feel like any of the games really were of any kind of you know good quality to be honest you know it, it were just silly games like we had eight rounds I'll try and remember what happened my first round was against uh, Lee uh, Osiris again, the chap who, um, the British chap who, uh, top cut worlds last year. So obviously he is a, you know, he is a good player. He's a very good player. He's one of the best in the country. And so I wasn't happy to see, <laughs> you know, to see um, he was my first opponent, especially because you know, out of out of all of the people like in the world, really, Lee just seems to have that that thing against me. He's my my you know, bogey opponent kind of thing, like, I, you know, obviously I have, you know, beat him in the past, but, like, he just has a really good, <laughs> really good, like, percentage against me, so, I never like playing him, really, but, you know, he's a, he's a good chap, he is a really good chap, I do like Lee, but, um, unfortunately, uh, I lost that game, so I started off the tournament with a loss, um, he, he had safety goggles on his Sylveon, so, basically, after, that surprise was sprung on me. Um, I was too far behind in the game to really come back into it. I could have played differently. Uh, I could have 
won the game if I hadn't done that. Like, basically, the game started out with... I led with Lipid Brulium, he led with Landorus and Sylveon. I withdrew Lipid straight away for Scizor and went for a Spore onto the Sylveon. I didn't go for a Fake Out or a Spore onto the Landorus because I thought that he was probably going to U-turn that Landorus into Amoongus to take a Spore. And I thought Scizor can take... Um, you know, a U-turn and a Hyper Voice or whatever, and I thought I'd be in a decent position, but um, nope, I spored the Sylveon, which had safety goggles. His lander actually went for a Rock Slide, um, but that obviously took the Breloom down, um, you know, with its Sash, with the Hyper Voice. Scizor took a lot of damage, and um, it's annoying because I was considering going for a Fake Out onto the Sylveon and a Spore onto the Landorus, and maybe the game would have worked out completely different from there, but um, it was... You know, it's just one of those games. In the best of three, maybe it would have been different, but, you know, that's that. Second game, um, the guy, the opponent, he had, um, like, he knew what he was doing. He he was competent. He had a superior, which is actually a bit threatening for my team, because it does outspeed um, Terrakion, and he had Charizard Y as well. And, obviously, my Terrakion is my main way of sort of knocking out opponents' Charizard, so that was actually a really worrying game for me. I did win it, though, thank goodness. The, set, uh, the third game was against, oh, it was against Rachel, SPEV online. Now, uh, Rachel is the, <laughs> Rachel is the person that knocked me out of the UK Nationals in the top cut in 2013. And if I had basically beaten her, I would have had a free flight to Worlds. So I've always been bitter about that loss because she got really, really, really lucky against me. And that's that. Seriously, that game is the the game that scarred me more than than any other. And I don't know. I um I wasn't thinking in this tournament. My mind had just sort of left me yesterday in in Sutton Coldfield. She had a Zapdos on her team, and. I know that if they've got a Zapdos, then I really do need to bring Terrakion, because Zapdos can be a problem if I can't hit it hard, like with something like Terrakion. And I got into the game, and I look into my back, and she's led with Zapdos, and I haven't brought my Terrakion. So I'm just thinking, what am I doing? So I have to swagger the Zapdos quite early on in the game, and it hits itself twice. So, I feel quite bad because, like, it's my fault for not bringing my Terrakion. I don't know what I was doing, but I won that game, like, because of that, basically. So, you know, again, that's not a game that I really want to sort of upload onto here. It's not, um, it's not a pretty game. It's not something that I'm proud of, but, you know, I won the game. So, you know, obviously I'd rather win, like, a win playing dirty, you know, over, <laughs> over a loss playing nobly, you know, kind of thing. But, you know, it's... It, the thing that annoyed me most was I just wasn't paying attention and I didn't I didn't make the on you know on turn zero on team preview I just wasn't making the right moves. But then we had a break. The fourth round I played um, Samuel nine nine six I think his username is who was my opponent in the Nugget Bridge Invitational last year. Um, he was my fellow finalist. Uh, I won that tournament. Um, which, uh, you know, obviously, <laughs> that was, like, my, my only big, big win last year. So I was, you know, really happy with that. But, you know, and I felt quite confident, you know, going into this. But his team was actually a little bit similar to Lee's. And he had safety goggles on his Zapdos. Like, I played turn one perfectly and just did not capitalize. I just did not make any predictions that would have just sealed up the game for me. And he ended up winning it. Like, fair enough to him. He played He played around, you know, he played solid. He did what he needed to do. But it was, it was my game to lose, basically. And so I was so annoyed after that. I just couldn't... I, I didn't know what, what was happening to me. Um, the next round... Um, who was my next round opponent? Um, if you're watching this, I'm, I'm sorry. I've forgotten who you are. But uh, who was it? Um, I can't remember. Like, it obviously wasn't a very interesting game, but um, I did win it. And um, the next... <laughs> sorry if you're watching. The next game was um, quite interesting. So, um, it, my opponent... Uh, I didn't know who he was. Um, he had a Mega Gallade, which had Ally Switch and Wide Guard and Rock Slide. I don't know what his final move was. Probably Close Combat. But that was very interesting, and quite a... I mean, it wasn't and it wasn't Timid Max Speed, uh, Gengar as well. Now, 
it was a pretty awkward game, but I brought it down to, um, you know, through a, a really kind of ballsy prediction um, at the end as well. I brought it down to my Terrakion, who was paralysed behind a substitute, against his Bishop, who had a life orb, so there's no focus sash. Basically, he uses Iron Head, he knocked my substitute out, Terrakion, trying to go for a close combat, got fully paralysed, and I lost the game from there. And so, again, I was so annoyed. Like, I could have played the game better, but it, just that last turn, that, you know, one in four chance of losing the game, and it has to happen. So, I was so annoyed after that. Like, it, it just grates on me when stuff like that happens. <laughs> but... <laughs> You know, the next game was against Andrew Furbrother, um, um, and uh, he he had a very similar team to um, a team that he used against me in the last Sutton Coldfield Premier Challenge. Yeah, that was a few week um, yeah a few weeks ago, and I beat him there, and I beat him in this tournament as well. He had a, a nice um, assault vest Metagross, which is a, is actually pretty hard to take down. Um, so basically, at this point, I'm four three. If I win my last game, I know I've definitely got championship points, and you know at least I've got a decent sort of positive record. If I lose it, then I think um, you know I, I was thinking I wouldn't have anything, but I go into the game you know not really concentrating. My opponent has got a really really good matchup against me. He's got lots of things that give my team's prob my my team problems, and. I I probably could have won the game like it it wasn't an auto loss by any means but it was my team was heavily checked by his basically so I I ended up losing and I was really annoyed I thought I had gone to the tournament and not got anything but luckily you know thankfully I was just in the top 64 and I did get some championship points so I mean I've got to analyze what went wrong a part of um all of your uh, you know after every tournament, basically, you've, you've got to analyse what went wrong, what went right, even if you won the tournament. Like, even, even after the Arnhem tournament, the other regional that I won, I analysed every game. I wanted to see which Pokemon I took, which Pokemon I didn't take very much. Um, you know, if I made any wrong moves or anything, even if I, you know, even if I had won those games, I wanted to analyse them. But now, seeing as I did so poorly yesterday, I've got to analyse what happened. Now... I don't know, like, I think it's a combination of things what went wrong, but it reminded me of the Milan National last year, where my first round opponent was Matti, uh, Matteo Gini, who is a, you know, a very good player, he's one of the best uh, in Italy, you know, if not the best in Italy, he's one of the best in Italy, obviously there's uh, Arash and his brother and everything as well, but... Um, I lost that game, uh, round one in Milan last year, and I just crumbled. I just lost concentration. I wasn't making any predictions. I knew that I wasn't making any predictions. I knew that I wasn't concentrating, but however much I thought about it, I just couldn't sort of snap myself out of it and make good moves. And that's exactly how I felt yesterday. Now, I don't know if it was because of um, you know, just a first round loss, or if it's just because I have kind of phases where I'm really like hot, you know, at, at times on on Pokemon. I can just make the moves and I just win games really easy. And it's just the po you know, the game seems easy, but sometimes the game feels really hard and the brain doesn't work and I just can't make the moves. Like in 2013, I did top cut all three European nationals, but in two of them, in the German national and the Italian national, I lost my first game in Swiss. So, you know, that didn't break my concentration. Like, I don't know, maybe I've just been worn down over the years, I don't know. <laughs> but it might have been uh, unlucky matchups as well. I mean, it was it was very unlucky to, to pull Lee in the first round, especially with his safety goggles on Sylvia. I mean, what are the chances of that, really? I mean, it's, it's surely it's just for brilliant, isn't it? Like, Hyper Voice can't be redirected, and, you know, it's not like... It's not like it's going to win one on one against uh, an Amoongus. Well, I suppose unless it's got like Psy Shock. But, um, you know, whatever. So, um, you know, that was unlucky. And, you know, the last round where his his team was really good against mine. Um, you know, Sam, I don't know. Like, maybe maybe I was unlucky with the matchups. I don't know. But it's really the meta game has shifted. Teams have shifted. And really, I feel like people know my team now people are prepared for my team like it's pretty flattering actually i mean it should be flattering that the metagame like has shifted so much 
towards being good against my team. My team is one of the teams that now people think, right, I've got this team, um, I need to make sure it beats this, 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 and this, and this, and it's got to beat Barry's team because so many people play with it now. So many people have been trying out Lipid and Brulium. Um, someone did top cut yesterday with a Lipid and Brulium on their team, which was quite interesting. Um, and, you know, people have been using it on Showdown. Uh, obviously, Cybertron's been using it on his channel as well. So it is flattering that people have a kind of, um, you know, got my team in their head so much that they, you know, it's a consideration for them now when they're building their teams when it wasn't before. Um, you know, through the Arnhem tournament, through Cybertron doing his videos, through me doing my videos on YouTube as well. So um, I suppose this is one of the uh, downsides to doing this YouTube channel because you know, I've basically just <laughs> given away everything that I've got. Like, I don't have any secrets. Like, going into the Arnhem tournament, or after the Arnhem tournament, I thought, you know, it doesn't matter that people know my team. I still won the tournament, I still did, still did really well, I can still play around it, but there's only so much you can play around. Like, when you've got a team that does kind of, you know, counter yours, you can't really play around it so much. Like, every game I go into now, if I'm using that team, I am at a disadvantage because everyone knows that team, and I don't know theirs. So... Maybe it's time to change. I don't know. We'll think about the future in a moment. But, um, you know, it, 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 it is quite flattering, I suppose, that um, you know, people have, have just sort of got such a, a kind of, you know, my mind, my, my mind, I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> my team is in people's minds when they, when they build. But, you know, we, we've got to, you know, think what now? I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe I shouldn't feel so bad about yesterday. Maybe it was just an off day. Maybe it was just um, unfortunate pairings because a lot of other really good players um, didn't do very well either. Um, you know, actually, let's um, you know have a have a little interlude. I've got the um, this is the um, the championship points at the moment from Europe. Um, this is updated from Sutton Coldfield yesterday, but the Italian regional hasn't been updated on this. Now I'm pretty sure that um, this chappy here sitting in tenth. He top cut. Uh, I'm not sure if he got to the final or not. I think he might have got to the final, but he might not have. Um, if he did get to the final, then he has at least gone um, above me. So he will be in third. I think he'll be in third. I'll be in fourth, which again is pretty good, to be honest. Um, um, Albi, where is he? Um, Alberto Gini, uh, Matteo's brother. Um, he top cut as well, so he'll be, you know, climbing, climbing this definitely as well. So, you know, this is a rough. You know, we've obviously got the Italian regional to update on here, but this is this is how things stand at the moment. I'm pretty chuffed actually that I'm still up here, but you know, again, it's disappointing that I didn't top cut because like if I won that tournament yesterday, I would have been halfway to like basically getting my my free flight. So you know, it's kind of you know kind of gutting in a way, but you know whatever. You can't win everything, I suppose. But what now? You know, maybe I shouldn't feel bad. You know, like I said, everyone else. Um, that was probably expected to do well, didn't do very well. Uh, I am still third or fourth in Europe, so it is, you know, it is what it is, but maybe it is time to say goodbye to this team. Uh, I don't know, maybe not goodbye, but maybe goodbye to how it is right now. In 2013, I did use Volcarona on this team, and I changed it to um, Scizor for Worlds. I did use Rotom Wash on this team in the Italian National um, that I, you know, top cut and got top eight in. And then I changed it to Thunderous. Um, I did have Swords Dance on Taraki and changed it to Lumberry. Like, my, my spreads and everything did change over that season. So maybe I shouldn't be so averse to changing this team this season. Maybe I do just need to sort of think about how I can improve it and maybe have something that will surprise people. Um, because everyone knows this team now. And if you know a team inside out, then you're just going to have an advantage. You're going to be able to play well against it. So, you know, maybe I can try and alter this team a bit or maybe I just need to use a different team. Uh, maybe I should have used Parasect yesterday. I don't know. But, I mean, what what's coming up? We've got the International Challenge coming up. Um, let's just sort of load this page. The, um, here we go. On, oh, I'm not logged in, am I? It's just going to show up. Um, on the, um, yeah, on, on the DS, on Battlespot, there is the, um, International Challenge coming up this next weekend. So, yeah, here we go. So, registration is open now. So, 
I don't know what I'll enter into this tournament, but um, it'll, it'll it'll be something. <laughs> it'll definitely be something. But um, it 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 may well be the last sort of chance for Lyper Brilliant team because uh, I I probably won't have time to get something else in game uh, apart from like the Parasec team. Uh, so it might be the chance, you know, the last chance for this Lyper team. Um, you know, I don't think I'll have a chance to get something else to sort of test out in, a, in an official tournament like this. But um, there's some more Premier Challenges coming up. Um, you know, maybe I'll try and build something different. Maybe um, I'll try and change the uh, Parasec team a little bit. I don't know. I've, I've got options. But the next Premier Challenge I'm going to, I think, is in a few weeks' time. So I've got some time to at least... Um, you know, alter things, build things, whatever. But I suppose I've got this whole kind of debate now with uh, how I go about, um, you know, building with relation to this YouTube channel. Like, if I <laughs> if I want to do well, then I need to kind of hold some surprises, don't I? But at the same time, if I get something good, then I just think, oh yeah, let's show everyone. You know, let's make, let's entertain some people. Let's show this cool team that I've built. So I don't know how I'm going to. Um, you know, juggle it about basically, but you know, hopefully, I'm still going to be able to uh, provide you with some good content, some entertainment for you. Um, you know, something something for you to learn from as well. Uh, I hope that um, you know the rest of the season doesn't go as terribly for me as yesterday did. But you know, like I say, I can't feel too bad because I am still you know up here. Um, there's a lot of people that would you know swap places with me, obviously, and I haven't even hit my premier challenge. Um, you know, cap yet, so I can I can still improve on this. Like you know, if um, if I go to the next Premier Challenge and win it, then I will actually jump back into first in Europe. So you know, it, it, it's not it's not um, you know the season's only at the beginning, and really we shouldn't be paying too much attention to these championship points right now because. The championship points that we've got here is nothing compared to the championship points that we'll get from nationals. Like a second, like first on second in these regionals is worth 120 and 100 points. I'm pretty sure like a top 64 or something at nationals is worth 100 championship points now. It is ridiculous. These points are nothing compared to what we're going to get in the nationals. So the nationals are the important tournaments. If you don't have any points yet, um, don't worry about it, you know, if you're in Europe, because the Nationals are the ones that, that are going to basically give people the flights and and um, determine how the season goes. But, you know, this has been a bit of a ramble, I suppose, hasn't it? But, you know, I just wanted to update you guys and um, tell you what happened, give you my reflections on the tournament, and, you know, again, I really want to, like, thank you. You know, if you came up and said hello and wanted a picture or wanted me to write something or anything, like, it, it's so flattering. It really does make me think, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a good thing with this YouTube channel. It's a, it's, it's really worth it, you know, when that happens. So thank you so much, guys. Like, you know, really, thanks a lot. I hope you've, you know, I hope you'll continue to enjoy the channel. Uh, I hope, like, I've been talking for almost half an hour now. I, I should probably go and get some food and go to bed. But, <laughs> but um, I, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you'll continue to enjoy the channel. But thanks a lot, guys, and, and goodbye for now.